Paradise, mate. Welcome to paradise. All this has been rained on. Hundreds of hornbills up in this tree. Dua Tiga, yeah! Mackerel, West Papa. Look where we are, man. Here gone. We got your fish. Fun yeah, fun time. Fun time. Yeah. We got a big yes. one, We got a big one. Good morning and welcome back from a, a beautiful little beach in the remote and wild West Papua. Now, we've managed to wrangle up a little local boat and after a, a sort of a few misadventures, we're finally out here doing it. Last night was our first camp out, wasn't it, mate? Yeah, it's all feeling pretty real at the moment. Like, we came in on sunset, finding our own camps. There's local village boats going past. Not too sure whether mm. they're going to pull in and have a go at us. Yeah, we literally walked out the back of our camp last night, spotlighted three crocs. There's sounds of birds we've never heard before. And yeah, pretty much rained the whole night. We've got respite this morning that it, it's just an absolute stellar day. There's not a breath of wind, it's crystal clean. And yeah, we've got blue skies. We're gonna break camp, have a bite to eat this morning, jump back in the boat and then keep exploring. I'm um, really excited to see what today's got in store, mate. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fortunate thing about when we break camp is that the pack up is pretty minimal. We've literally got dry bags, sleeping mat, a couple of pots and pans, bag of rice, machete. It's very minimal. Back to basics, some would say. Jump on, mate. You can see behind me, there's mangroves, like it goes rainforest straight down to mangroves, and then it looks like sort of an inlet to a little creek here. Yeah, what happens sometimes is you get out the mouth of these little creeks and drains, if they're holding mud crabs, the crabs will come out and be moving here when there's a bit of water at the front. So that's what we're looking for. Nice skill of mullet here. You'd probably be able to pick up with a, a decent hand spear. Oh, no, no crabs as of yet, but I reckon if there was, you'd see them pretty clearly. There's definitely a part of me right now that wants to get the mask, the snorkel and the fins on and have a dive under this on high tide and check out because the water's so, so crystal clean but I'm also 100% aware and acknowledge the fact that there are, yeah, there's plenty of saltwater crocs here and we don't have good local knowledge in this area. We're just cruising along and Strick goes, mate, there's bait, bait, heap of bait up the front. Grab the popper, grab the rod. So yeah, up on this point, there's all this current wrapping around the reef. There should be bait holding on it somewhere. Oh. Nothing. Keep pressing forward, eh, mate? This very traditional little village here where the girls are out um, catching fish on the dugout canoe. The guys are playing on some floating styrofoam floats. What an amazing spot. Life is pretty simple here, but filled with a whole lot of joy and fun. Everyone's smiling, there's a lot of laughter. It's like Thursday, middle of the day. Uh, there's a lot to be said about a way of life like this, I reckon. Hey, hello! Hi. <laughs> we just pulled up out of the front of this village and there's all these boys having a swim! Yeah! They're just playing on big styrofoam boards and bamboo. Oh, they're coming aboard! Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, sit down, boys. Sit down. So many, um, many fish here, this in here. Yeah. Banyak, yes. banyak, ik, 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 uh, fish, yeah. ikan, yeah. ikan, yeah. This has been a real highlight for me. I'm, I'm very happy we pulled up here. This is, this is so cool. These boys are so agile. They can just do every single one of them. Front flip, back flip, side flip. Hey. We go. We go, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hernandez. Hernandez. My name is Aldo. Aldo. Ronaldo. My name is Mika. Mika. What's the Mika. Mika. They're all saying, okay, we go to Australia now. We go to Australia. They think we're taking them to Australia. <laughs> Satu, dua, tiga. Yeah. Boys have been spearing. Good, good, bagus. <laughs> 
High five. Good work. This is um strict PB <laughs> village fish. Yeah. Um, good. Yeah, I was just saying to the boys before, if we get some good fish tomorrow, while yeah. we're still close to the village, we can bring you munkin beso, ikan, yeah? If we get, like, yes. ikan basar, yeah? yeah yes. We'll bring back here. The boys are getting cold, I'm going to take them back in. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> boys. Some fair jumper, yeah? Bye-bye. Bye, Bye, boys. Bye, boys. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, what an incredible little unexpected segment, hey? That I just was, didn't see that coming. Not at all. What an amazing way to spend a couple of hours. So much joy, so much fun. We do need to get them a big fish at one point, eh? Hey? Imagine yeah. coming in with like a big oh, mackerel. Or a couple. Yeah. Like a couple of good fish. All right, that's yeah. our objective the next few days. Oh, We're still going. Mate, that was just such high vibes. That We're was amazing. We're stoked. They're stoked. That Everyone's was, stoked. That was awesome. That was what this trip was going to be all about, you know, these kind of unexpected cultural experiences. That was pretty special. Oh, all that gear is just soaked. Oh, mate, we left the windows open. Oh, my. Drone wet, yeah, camera yeah, batteries. Yeah, drone wet. batteries, like cameras, yeah, everything's just wet. The bilge pump has literally been on for what? Five to ten minutes? Oh, at, least. at least five to ten minutes, just pumping out water. And it's been raining pretty heavy for the last hour, but. We're gonna keep cruising, see if we can find, yeah, well, we need to get some fish and we need to find a camp spot. Uh, it's all, it's all sand, mate. We've been traveling for a couple of hours, just through all the different islands and the rain's just eased. We've seen this little sandy spit here and we thought this could be a potential campsite. It's got a really nice anchorage, sand, maybe, I think I saw a couple of coconuts up around the side. I'd say just off here on this reef, we'd be able to, to catch a meal, get some seafood. But the biggest thing for us is that when the tide comes in, that we've got enough flat area to be able to, to sleep for the night. Yeah, it looks beautiful. We just, like you said, got to see if there's anywhere that's going to be dry once that tide comes in. Uh, other than that, it looks good. We just can't leave that boat for, for too long. We've got a pretty quick dropping tide. Let's do a quick reconnaissance of the setup. Just had a bit of a dig through here, but... What do you see? I think that is the tide line. Where there's a few leaves and that are. Yeah, so anything above that, I reckon will be all right, but there's not too much of a safety barrier. Which is like last night, literally a meter away from where we were sleeping. Yeah. Oh, nice, man. It looked like someone's come through here and planted a couple of coconuts, which is good. They're young coconut palms. One, two, three. mackerel in West Papa. Oh my god, look where I am. Look where we are, man. Hang on, I think he might have just sorted out dinner for us. What have you got, bro? Oh, mate. Spanish mackerel. That is a beauty. Cheers, a bro. Beauty, man. I was stoked. I was oh. Like, oh, my. When it came in and it was just super curious, I was like, oh, what are yes. the chances? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Woohoo! Nice fish, bro. That couldn't have worked out too much better. Oh, straight off camp here. That's the perfect fish to be able to take back to the village and give to those boys. I reckon they're going to be stoked, eh? What do you reckon? Oh, mate, I think so. It's a bit of an upgrade from, uh, from that last thing I shot for them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? We go drop it off to them, come back and get our own? Yeah. <laughs> Done right. deal. Let's go. All right, we've just pulled back in at that village and uh, Az is about to hold the fish up for them. Yeah, we're wondering, we're like, oh, hopefully we can find them. They might have just gone over siesta or like back of the village, but they're just all starting to run out now. So we're gonna hold the fish up for them. You can We got your fish. <laughs> we brought your fish. <laughs> you <laughs> they're all running. They're running. They're <laughs> swimming out. out. Oh, oh, this is awesome. It's like their the Christmas. Best. Christmas just arrived. Listen to them. Yeah, we got you. Ikan, Ikan, Basar. There you go. <laughs> but you share, yeah? With everyone. Your mum, your dad. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's as big. Same size. Same size. 
<laughs> Same size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One yeah, one 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 Be careful, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put. You jump in. I'll, I'll give you. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's awesome. Mate, I hope these kids bring this back to their mum and dad with their little spear and just pretend that they've yeah. spit it themselves. We got big yes. one, mum, we got big one. It doesn't get much more special than this. There's literally like people running, running out of every section of the village to all come down and check this big fish out. Little legends, I hope they see this video one day. Yeah, yeah. mate. The next thing on the agenda is to make sure we get a feed for ourselves. We eh? do. Yeah, let's go get another one. Well, we've come back towards base camp and it's now my turn to jump in for a swim and the objective is simply get something for dinner for Az and I. So hopefully there's something get her, getting around there. I really hope so too. <laughs> it's been a long day without food bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like hornbills. Ooh. Yes! Beautiful coral trout for dinner. Oh man, that's perfect. That's just right for the two of us, eh? That's exactly what we need, that. And a big old bowl of rice. Beautiful. Sorted. Well done, brother. Mate, how nice is it the sun's come out? Oh, I know. I was just saying that. Our base camp looks a whole lot more pretty now, eh? <laughs> yeah. Don't want to hit that one, mate. Do not want to hit that one. Looks like there's just enough sand here. Uh, even at the low tide, we're going to be able to anchor and time to unload. It's so nice to be able to do this while the sun's out. It's a whole different place, isn't it? Paradise, mate. Welcome to paradise. Population two. <laughs> So I've grabbed a few different sizes of, of kindling and wood for the fire. All this has been rained on. We're just hoping the sun stays out for a couple of hours to dry it off. Ooh. Sorry, mate. I need that palm, mate. Sorry. So if you've watched the episode before this, you'll know that we've been given permission and blessing to be able to camp on these islands and catch fish on the reef. But I don't know if that extends to being able to pick from their coconut trees because as I'm coming around the side here, there's a couple of, a couple of God's nuts palm trees with coconuts up the top, but I can see here that they're, they're clearly labeled. Look there, someone's cut an X. X marks their tree. And then also some steps all the way up to the top to the crown where you can see that there's there's a few there but they have been picking them it's also incredibly wet and like moldy so so it'd be pretty dangerous trying to get up there and get a feed of nuts Jeez, hello yeah all right is it's loud with the wildlife here this has been in the sun for maybe three hours now so i'm going to grab the lighter kindling and then the lighter wood the bamboo and the driftwood and then i'll give these Bit of heavier but but a lot damper pieces whatever's left of that sun probably only 30 40 minutes and we'll get a fire going it's going to be a little bit tricky to get a fire going being so wet but i've got a bit of a trick for you let's see if it works we normally use uh, a can for this but obviously there's no cans around here so see if the, we can do it in the clamshell start with just 
at the back of our boat in amongst all the dive gear there's uh, a fuel water separator so that'll take all your water out of your fuel um, but we can actually just drain the bung on it and get a bit of fuel into here all right we'll screw him back up put him in the middle now we can build the fire around it Alright, now what our little clam mix is going to do is basically create a candle that will stay lit for about 20 minutes. Uh, in that time, it should give the rest of the wood enough time to dry out and catch on fire. Let's see how we go. Seems to be working so far. Now, if I just covered this in petrol, it'd go up in a bang, but it'd all be gone in sort of like five seconds. And the rest of this wood wouldn't uh, actually have a chance to dry out. But when you mix it with sand like that, like I said, that'll stay lit for enough time to dry our wood out. That's what I like to hear, mate. <laughs> just gonna take the guts out of this trout. I think we're just gonna cook him straight on the fire and then get the meat off him to put on top of a better rice. Got a trout with a few veggies on a plate of rice. I think that'll do us, bro. I'll see if I can access some coals down there and get this trout on. Still there? Is it still there? Yeah! How's that for a sunset rainbow? Woo! There's the anchorage, sun setting to the west, cook up, sleeping area, and we predict that the high tide tonight is going to come about here. So if it comes there, we'll still have a few meters of beach. We can stay dry. There's just flocks of hornbills coming from one island to this one. They're all landing on here, aren't they? Yeah, all I hope you guys can hear this. This is a sound we've never heard before. There's hundreds of hornbills up in this tree here. They're all up the back in that one there, just at the top of this, like oh. on the top of this rise. You can see them roosting. They are so, so loud. They must be sorting out like a bit of a pecking order or something up there at the moment. But there's even their flaps of their wings when they come in. It's like, mm. oof, 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 oof. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. All right, this coral trout is done. Take him up to the kitchen table. Nice, yum, mate. Beautiful coral trout meat. There's a bit of hunger getting around the camp. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, mate, it's been, been a long day. All right, mate, we'll put this on top of rice, eh? Perfect. Nice. It's hot, isn't it? Real hot. <laughs> veggies come out well, though, mate. Yeah, cheers. A couple of the market's finest. <laughs> uh, we've got, on a bed of rice, fresh coral trout that you got, mate, with a few veggies from the village. Mm. And man, I'm hungry. I think we earned this one, mate. Yeah. What a day, though, hey? Everything tastes better when you haven't eaten for yeah <laughs> since this time yesterday but uh, i hope you guys are enjoying this series so far we certainly are we've been saying sort of when the cameras are off this is this is one for the memory bank i mean last night at camp with the crocodiles behind us and tonight it sounds like helicopters are landing behind us with these hornbills horn coming yeah. in so it's all it's all just pretty special guys yeah, very surreal really is yeah it is isn't it thanks for joining us on this one guys if you if you're new here subscribe we'll see you see you on the next one see you next week cheers